Hi folks, this is Jake. I hope you're okay today. We're looking at an article by Dale Allison, How to Marginalize the tr Traditional Criteria of Authenticity. Uh, if you just Google uh, How to Marginalize the Traditional Criteria of Authenticity by Dale Allison, you'll be able to um, find a, a, a reference to it. I, I um, got this out of a, a four volume work of about 3,000 pages, so I think that would be a bit too big for you to, to look into. But you can get a link to, to this article in smaller works of Dale Allison. Dale Allison is one of the world authorities on historical Jesus studies. Um, and this is what he says. He says in page 18 of... on. Uh, in other words, we can go through all the motions and yet end up with precisely what we wanted or expected. Dale Allison posed questions upon the historical criteria that historians use for uh, historical studies in Jesus. Uh, the criteria of, criteria of embarrassment, mm -hmm. um, the criteria of multiple attestation, and many other criteria he calls into question. And he feels that we should look at, not piecemeal the Gospels, but look at the Gospels in larger chunks of um, themes. Mm -hmm. What I have to say to Dale Allison is that I think that he is a very uh, brilliant scholar and I do love the guy and love what he has to say, but I profoundly disagree with him. I think that there are criteria that we can have if we would recognize the value of that criteria. For example, uh, Richard Borkham in his book, uh, Jesus and the Eyewitnesses, uh, has clearly stated that and shown that there is eyewitness material in the Gospels. I think that's a criteria that we've not, we've neglected. The criteria, criteria of genre is something, and taking the piece of literature as a whole is something that scholars have not concentrated on as much as they should have done over the last 130 years. I think some of the criteria are helpful, criteria of embarrassment is helpful, but I think they're artificial. I think that you have to um, be willing to scientifically, that is systematically, look at all the evidence and then come to some conclusion. The danger is in these historical studies is not just having a hypothesis, but having a hypothesis with prejudicial prejudicial concepts and ideas that permeate your historical inquiry and that before you even get there you actually have rewrote the history of Jesus in your own image and Dale Allison alludes to this but I would say the same for Dale Allison that he would be doing the same and he would be guilty of what other people do so in conclusion in engaging with Dale Allison what I learn is the historical criteria for the studies of the historical Jesus uh, there needs to be tweaking, there needs to be more development on those criteria. Secondly, I think there are criteria there that are not being utilized as much as they should do such as the fact that there is eyewitness material within the Gospels. And thirdly, that every scholar has to be aware that not just having a hypothesis but bringing into your historical inquiry theories that you proved without proof that you have without evidence and then you take that and you squeeze the historical material into your construct that you've already constructed. Adolf Schlatter in his book on methodology, his article on methodology warns scholars about this and it's something that we need to consider. Alright?